Whoa. Aries? No, don't, listen, it's... Your first reaction to a lot of things is anger because anger is almost like the catalyst to fuel your fire. That fire that burns and charges everything, like your energy fire. And so it's okay with you to fire off and get pissed because it also makes you motivated. It, it, it like pushes the heat through your veins. I don't think you want that. I know that you're angry. I know that you feel that somebody has really harmed you, hurt you, or put you into a situation that could really embarrass you. Perhaps they have. Albeit, and, and for some of you, it might be intentional. For others of you, most of you, I don't think that it is. This is impacting you a great deal when it comes to your work or your job, how you make money. And the challenge is how people, especially people in your family, are going to see you and is this going to challenge my stability you know what I've so I worked so hard on is this going to fuck me up and so the instant reaction is get mad at the person who did this to you get mad at the person who put this into in to, to, to put this situation who catalyzed this situation even if the person wasn't trying to aggress upon you you're trying to see if you can do damage control you're trying to see if you can you're doing all this work to basically do damage control and cover things up when well, what you really need to do is fuck all that stop because the path for you now is to let it go and trust. Why are you hiding? Why are you questioning what you know makes you happy because it doesn't fit in with somebody else's point of view or perspective of what is right or what makes them feel comfortable or, um, you know, what is proper? You love who you love. You love what you love. And this is tomorrow, the coming up actually. This is your full moon. This is it. This is that full moon that says, stand up for what I believe in. But you know, I think better than any of us, especially because Mars is in retrograde, that it's not so easy to do that. There's a lot of challenges now in standing up for what you believe in, most especially how you judge yourself and how you feel about yourself. There's, there's a part of you that feels ugly for loving this aspect of life. There's a part of you condemning yourself. I don't think you want to move quickly and you shouldn't, but there's definitely a message coming in for you. Something that you did not expect. There is definitely a circumstance coming in that kind of took you by surprise. Now it could be blatant treachery by somebody, probably a female. Now, if you are a female, you might've sent a letter. Well, this could be a friend. I think this is a friend. I think this is a friend of yours who let the cat out of the bag, let something out of the bag, outed you in a way that you didn't want to be outed. Now, this person is usually this a sunshine in your life, a very loyal friend, somebody that you love a great deal. Right? But instead, they got you into trouble. Once again, I do not think it was intentional. 
And that's why you're trying to think to yourself, well, how do I deal with this circumstance? Now, if this happened to you a couple of weeks ago, the impact of this is just starting now to resonate, which is why it's coming back up again. The sense of you thought that you covered it up, you thought you buried it, but it's back again. You can't cover anything up with Mercury heading into Scorpio. That's the thing. It all comes back. It's coming back to haunt you. And you don't know how to, how to deal with it. You really don't know There's there's a, how, how to react to it. I'm going to tell you how to react to it. You're going to surrender. You're going to let yourself be who you are and be proud of who you are. And you're not going to be afraid of the judgment against you. You're going to tell people how to love you. You're going to tell people about you. You're going to surrender. You're going to allow this to be. It has something to do with sex. Your sensuality, it's interesting how so many of my, my best friends are Aries and, and, you know, they are just pristine professionals. They are ladies in the street and freaks in the bed. And they really do like to keep those two things separate. There is something here about allowing those two things to not be separate those two worlds to merge and that is the scary part that is the fear that is the i don't want those two parts to merge because i've been very very comfortable keeping them apart but something is catalyzing the crash of those two worlds whether it was intentional yeah if it was ultimately it doesn't matter because ultimately what you're really having to deal with is the fallout. And, but do you even need damage control? That's my real question to you. Why do you need the damage control? This is not about protecting your life. This is not about saving your life. This is about owning your life. This is about being proud of every aspect of your life. And no, I'm not one of those tarts who feels like you have to put your shit all over Instagram or all over social media. Not everybody has to be a fucking reality show. I understand that some things are about privacy, but this is impacting your work somehow. What you really love to do versus what you do do and you've got in yourself real secure Fitting in that compartment that you don't belong in. And it's these two worlds that are crashing right now. Maybe inside of you. You know, maybe that's what it is. Maybe this is you. It's not even a friend. What is it? Conflicting between loyalty and riskiness treachery or, or chaos and consistency. Who are you? What do you want to be? What do you want to tell the world about who you are? You want to keep these two things separate? They're not separate anymore. There is something here, like standing up against the darkness, against the doom and gloom, and people having your back. You being supported, you're not going to be left alone all out there by yourself. You're not. Even though in some ways it feels like a complete cat catastrophe, there is a beauty in this moment that's undeniable. And there's also, if this is a person that you're dealing with, there's a beauty in this person that is undeniable. You don't hate this person, but you are angry with them. So how do you confront them? You know, yeah, how do you confront this situation? How do you do it? Because it, it might come out to a fight. You might, you might have to cut a bitch. Not literally, but like it might come to, it might come to that, come to a fight. You, I don't think you want it to get there, but you're preparing yourself. This is almost like prepare for your, the worst, but hope for the best. That's what you're doing. This is damage control. And here, from, from my perspective, it's like, stop the damage control. If you own this, look at prosperity lies ahead, but communication is the key. It says it. Don't let pride get in your way. Look at that. 
abundance is there waiting for you, wanting to come into your life. But it's how you share this experience with people. If you're reactionary, if you're defensive, if you try to hide things, it's just, it. that's what's going to bring catastrophe. If you... Stand by your beliefs. Stand by who you are. All that, that you are. With pride. With decency. There is a level of... Don't let pride get in your way. Don't get pride get in your way in terms of... That bad pride. That, that, that stops up abundance. Because it's really not pride. It's fear. There's a conflict waiting to happen here because some shit has come out. Whether you got a letter or a DM or you heard something or somebody that once, it could also be somebody that once was a really good friend. Now all of a sudden they're busting your balls about shit. Now all of a sudden they're talking shit about you. And yo, maybe some of that shit is true. Maybe some of it is. And it wasn't anybody else's business, but now it's all out there. Well, what's out there somebody can't control you with, can they? What's out there is no longer in their arsenal, right? Once the bullets have been shot and you're still alive, there's no more ammunition. So in a way, even that makes you more powerful. And I want you to realize that. Before you are tempted to overreact, to try to revert back to this cowardly little thing, which you're not, but you do sometimes, you just, you like, you're, you're, you don't want people to see that freak in you, right? You don't, you don't, but there's a balance and being in Libra season with Chiron butting heads with the sun. There is this sense of, listen, it wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault that all this shit got splattered and came out. Any of the fallout that's coming from this is not your fault. Of course, it doesn't mean it's not your responsibility. But in terms of, it's not your fault in terms of how you should feel about yourself, as if, as if your ugly side or your freaky side somehow tarnishes your beauty when it's out of the closet. It was always a part of you. Wherever you kept it, it was always a part of you. It doesn't change you at all. The people's knowing is where don't let the pride get in the way. Because this is where you could really lose your shit and really fuck things up. Let's get into the main reading. Aries. 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 Ooh, Aries. This also, let me say this, this also could be a conflict with somebody who was extremely special to you at one point, and now they've become something different. But in some ways, right now, you're in this mode of peace. I told you, it's like when Mars is in retrograde, it's like the warrior on leave. I don't want to fight right now. I don't want to pick up my gun right now. I don't want that shit right now. But this is what you have to deal with. Like being personally attacked or feeling like your profession is or the way that you make money somehow is being attacked, right? Right? This sense of taking a much more passive hands-off position than normally you would. Hmm. Okay. I don't think you're ready for a new beginning. Life is a mystery. 
see the big picture and take the lead and spirit has your back. You may not know where you're headed, but spirit does. And so this is a, entirely a leap of faith. It's almost like you know that there's a change coming, that you know that the future requires you to make a change, you to, to be somewhere different, go somewhere different, do something different. You just aren't really sure what that is yet. And you didn't want to take any leaps until you were. But here we have this sense of impetuousness, impatience, charging into something, as well as a feeling of uh, the cat getting out of the bag. Be here now. Nope. Watch and wait. Nope. This is wanting to push forward, wanting to move on, being sick and tired of being sick and tired, being sick and tired of waiting. Impatience. Lay a solid foundation. This and that are true. Seeing somebody else's side of the story. Trying to keep it light so you don't get dragged down. Friendliness, happiness, um, playfulness. Playfulness. Trying to build something that is fresh, sexy, new, playful. You know, yes, lay a solid foundation. You want to make this work. But you want to keep it light. You want to keep it, you want to keep it low key. You want to keep it kind of even keel. I want to flip all the cards over to see. Let's spear beer guide. You've been getting messages lately. Once again, these are messages. Messages straight from spirit. Time to heal. That are directly connected to this kundalini energy. Look at this. Sacral. Sacral core. Sacral energy. Something that you've created. This sort of sexuality, sensuality, sexiness. Something that you have created. The, the heart of your creation. I'm going to call it. For some of you, this is absolutely pregnancy. And maybe you wanted to keep it secret. You wanted to keep it on the on the low key. And somebody let the cat out of the fucking bag. A girlfriend of yours. A friend of yours. Somebody that you trusted to keep it safe. And they didn't. Or this is something else that you're creating. Like giving into your truth. Your true self. Your truth of who you are. Your se like, like owning your sexuality and your sensuality. And not trying to keep it secret anymore. Not trying to be demonstrative about it. But just not going the extra mile to make people think the opposite direction. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I want to be more chill about this. Everything that I make, everything that I create, everything that I build. This is about healing through play, through having fun. Not taking things so seriously. Snake energy is definitely transformation and it is spiritual healing, but it's spiritual healing by expelling poison. This is conquering a poison. Wise old owl advice, Aquarius energy, you see clearly now, you get it. That's the way forward, Aries. You have to be lighter hearted with this. Because this is playfulness too. This is that sense of almost diffusing somebody's character attack on you by making fun of them. Or by making fun of what they thought they could do to you with this information. Also, realizing in your gut that somebody was just joking around. They were just playing around. They didn't mean it seriously. But still, there's a sense of you being pissed as fuck. And you not being able to easily let it go. This is Scorpionic energy. This is Aquarius energy. This is feeling stuck. Feeling like your underside, your soft underbelly has been exposed because some secrets have come out. And you're trying to like keep them in. 
hold them in. Good luck. You're not going to do it. That's just not how this week is framed. At the very least, Aries, you have to have the strength and the courage to, and make that decision, Aries, to embrace what's just come out into the open. See, you're, but you're not ready. You're not ready. You're not ready for this, this new, somebody chose this for you. And that's part of why you're not ready because you're pissed and you want to fight them. But you're also just, you weren't emotionally ready to be outed. I'm going to, I'm going to use that word. I'm going to use that phrase. You weren't emotionally ready to be outed. You don't want to let go. But you feel, you honestly, you, you don't want to let go, but you feel like it's inevitable now. Like the decision has been made for you. This is frog energy, also transformative energy. But this is, this is letting go of shit that you don't need in your life. And then there's time to let go, but it's in reverse. So you're holding on. Pain is still there. The pain is still there, but there's preparations here to just... Release it. Clear out the clutter. And that fourth house of yours. You could be literally unleashing a lot. If you have a sister or a conflict that you've had with her, you could be unleashing a lot of pain that you've held in toward a female family member, maybe even a mother. Sweet results await and think on your feet. Both fire energy, Sagittarius and Leo, here to help you and support you, fuel you. This chaos, this unexpected predicament is going to lead to a great deal of abundance, Aries. And I don't think it was abundance that you would have found by yourself because you would have continued to keep things hidden and secretive. But this kind of like, this is your fox again. Fox is appearing twice in your reading now. You got to improvise. Got to figure out how to handle this situation. But this is Leo energy. Standing by yourself, sticking up for yourself, realizing your value and your worth and never forgetting it. And that's how you have to approach the situation. This unexpected turn of events, that's how you have to approach it. Lots of abundance here. You know, if there's, if Chiron's butting heads with Leo and everything is square, like squaring the moon, which is in Aries, like not feeling yourself, feeling doubt all the time, feeling like nothing's happening fast enough. It's almost like doing something spontaneous and off, off the wall. It makes you feel like your control is back. Makes you feel like you're back. What I know for a fact, this unexpected predicament is going to lead to a great deal of abundance for you. It is going to work out. It's not going to be comfortable, but it is going to work out. I want to get into your spirit and angel guide messages, Aries. The link to your extended reading. We're going to get into this with tarot. I wanted to pull tarot as soon as I pulled out the Lenormand cards. First card that came out, Archangel Michael. That means you're protected. The path is now clear. I have removed all obstacles in your way. Now that could even mean obstacles of yourself, obstacles of your own pride. You can move forward now with ease and confidence. 
you will achieve what your heart desires. This is Archangel Michael, the universe, the angels coming in and clearing out what was in your way, getting it out of your way, thinking, hey, I'm doing you a favor by doing this. You could be pissed. You could be angry because that was blocking you and you felt safe behind that wall. But the wall was fucking you up. It was holding you back. And I've said it a thousand times before. Whatever you use at that wall, as that wall. And for you guys, it looks, because of the placement of your chart right now, like you used your work, your business, as this wall, as this block, as what helped you keep up appearances. That is fucking being mowed down. It's blasted down. And as angry and upset and frustrated as you want to be right now, too fucking bad. You just, your life just got saved. It just got improved. Hold on. Archangel Sandolphin is here. I have heard your call for help. Your prayers will soon be answered. A wall that you thought would never come down, right? Something that like, it's almost like you had gotten, you had started to feel safe behind a boundary that once made you feel trapped. You started to feel safe in it because you figured out how to decorate the wall. You know what I'm saying? But now it's gone. Your decorations are gone. The wall is gone. And there's a sense of your prayers finally got answered, but they got answered like years later. That kind of thing. And it's like, but do I even still want those dreams? Why do you think you're helping me so much now? You come to my aid now? Yep. Compassion. When you show greater compassion toward yourself, the universe automatically responds by showering you with greater blessings. Really, to look at this situation, circumstance, or person as an enemy is almost to look at yourself as an enemy. Because there is a sense of what are they really doing but exposing something you're ashamed of. But that is, that's you being your worst enemy. You shouldn't be ashamed of this. It's part of who you are. And yes, I know that you wanted to keep it private, but ultimately you didn't choose to not keep it private. It wasn't your decision to throw this all over the place. And ultimately there's nothing you need to be ashamed of just because it came out. And you could put it back to private, but like anybody who questions you or tries to bust your balls about it, you simply look at them in the eye and say, uh-huh. So keep it light. Keep it playful and keep it real. Stick up for yourself. Don't don't deny it. No, 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 that wasn't me. Don't ha why? Love yourself enough to know there's nothing to be ashamed of. Destiny. Your destiny is to blossom, to shine, to transform to an ever greater light. And with that, I am moving into tarot. I hope you guys join me. The link is below. I want to get these dirty details because, you know, all of this is very general energy. I want to get into the specifics. So please do join me over. The link is below. I'll see you over there.